hi guys welcome back to my channel my name's jade today i'm going to be showing you how to make a balloon column i'm going to be doing it in a spiral pattern and using a number three balloon on top as it's my daughter's third birthday tomorrow so i just thought i'd make this just to have up as a little bit of decoration in the house for her so i'm going to show you what we need and then we'll jump right in and show you how to make it so it's really simple what you need i'm going to be using an electronic air pump however you can use a handheld one if that's all you've got you then need to choose your colors that you need i'm going to be making a spiral pattern so i will need two colors i'm going to use pink and purple and i've got 14 of each as i'll be making six tiers so that'll be 28 balloons in total um i then got a number three foil balloon topper um it's just one of the big number threes you can use any four balloon that you want you can use a star heart different number whatever you want i've then got my nine inch balloon sizer and i have some pink ribbon just to tie all the balloons in together so that's all you need to make the column so we're going to start off by blowing up all 28 balloons we'll be pairing them up together so we'll use a pink and a purple together so it's easier to form our pattern later on we join the balloons by using a simple knot tie um i'll show you that on camera too while i'm doing it and then we'll move on to step number two so before I start, I'm going to quickly show you how to use your balloon sizer. So you blow your balloon up and you put it through your balloon sizer so that the middle of the balloon is the size of the circle. So do you see that? About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Right, so now that we've blown up all our balloons, I'm going to show you how to interlock your balloons so that they then become a quad. So you just take two of the balloons and you put them middle to middle and then you literally just twist your balloons to lock it in. So now they're all joined together as a quad. So we need to make all the balloons into quads. That should give us six sets of quads and then we will start to put it together. I then forgot to mention that we need to make a little water balloon weight just to sit at the bottom of our column so that we can attach the balloons and it manages to stand still. So we're going to put some water in this, I'll show you, and then I'm going to attach it to this just by tying it on. So I haven't made it too big, I've just made it small enough so that the balloons can still fit around it and not make it lose the shape at the bottom. And then I'm going to tie the ribbon just again with a simple knot. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the colours opposite each other. So I need to twist these two around. So that they then become opposite each other and I'm going to put the water weight here and I'm going to literally tie the ribbon around the balloons to lock it in. I'm now going to do the exact same procedure with the rest of the balloons and what I'll do is just make sure that balloons are following around in a pattern so the purple will sit on top of another purple but just one slot in let me show you so if these were our two balloons we would have a purple hair at the bottom and a pink and then I'll put this purple in that slot and so forth and then you'll see the spiral pattern forming <laughs> I chose to use all seven quads which is 28 balloons in total it is almost the size of me and I'm five foot five so it is quite a tall tower and by the time the number three goes on top it will be very tall um so I'm gonna fill my number three up with air and then I'll show you how to attach it run, this is what we waited for take my hand we'll make it some so now we have our number three 
free blown up. I'm going to attach it by putting it on top of the column and then using the ribbon to just literally lock it all in and make sure it's nice and tight. How we can't miss out. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. It really is a simple design to do that can spruce up any kind of occasion. Like I said, you can put any far topper on top that you like. And if you want to do even more simple design, what you could do is use your quads, but you can stick to the same color instead of mixing them up. So you do four purple, four pink, four purple, four pink, all the way down. Still gives you a really nice design. It just gives you a stacking design and it's as simple as that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video guys, if you did please give it a big thumbs up and I will be making more balloon tutorials so if you're interested in seeing that please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification as next time I'm thinking of making a balloon garland video which is really pretty, really simple again and really effective in any occasion. So if you know anybody that's having a party or a special occasion coming up please share this video with them as I'm sure they can benefit from it and I hope to see you next time guys. Thank you so much for watching, bye!